let's get to the news. President Biden is facing criticism after he fist bumped Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman last week during their first in-person meeting. Of course, at this point, that's like saying mosquitoes are facing criticism. When weren't they? <laughs> first Lady Dr. Jill Biden apologized last week after she said that the Latino community is, quote, as unique as the breakfast tacos here in San Antonio. <laughs> said Biden in her apology, I'm as sorry as the breakfast tacos at Taco Bell. <laughs> former President Trump and uh, former Vice President Mike Pence are set to hold competing rallies on Friday in Arizona. It will be the first time they've faced off since January 6th. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck over the weekend Reportedly got married, guests were offered beef, chicken, or bacon, egg, and cheese. <laughs> I felt really good about that joke earlier. <laughs> you know what? It's for a certain, it's for a certain region of America. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it, New England. <laughs> that's right, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez reportedly got married over the weekend, because right now, that's the only way a Red Sox fan can get a win in the Bronx. Wow, I took it right away. I took it right back. <laughs> Told a joke for New England, bombed in New York, and then <laughs> him with the next joke. <laughs> Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz announced recently that the coffee chain will close 16 stores due to rising crime. The most egregious crime? Waiting until you're at the front of the line before looking at the menu. <laughs> oh, so... The sizes are in Italian. <laughs> the fast food restaurant Subway recently changed the names of several of its sandwiches, including switching the meatball marinara to the boss, as opposed to what's usually called the boss at Subway, a 16-year-old kid. <laughs> Lego recently announced that they will release a new set based on the sitcom The Office, though if your kid wants that bad news, they're a Dwight. And finally, producers have announced that a reboot of the procedural Criminal Minds will air on the streaming service Paramount Plus. So if you're a big fan of detective work, try and figure out how to watch Paramount Plus. <laughs> According to a new report, some of President Biden's top allies are quietly meeting with Democratic officials and donors ahead of the 2024 election in case he doesn't run. Well, quietly, aside from the person who keeps coughing the word Hillary. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden met today with Ukrainian First Lady Olena Zelenska at the White House. Sorry for everything your country's going through, said Zelenska. <laughs> Elon Musk was photographed over the weekend aboard a luxury yacht in Mykonos, Greece, and all I can say is, wow, he is... <laughs> he is so white, the sun had to put on sunscreen. <laughs> He looks like the page in the coloring book you haven't gotten to yet. <laughs> is he partying on that yacht? Or is he haunting it? <laughs> I will say, though, I will say he does have the skin tone of somebody who is very good with technology. <laughs> Steven Spielberg recently directed his first music video using his smartphone, which is surprising because most people his age record concerts on their iPads. In a new interview, a couple who's been married for nearly 80 years said that their secret to a long-lasting relationship is always sharing a kiss before bedtime. Same, said those freaks from Willy Wonka. <laughs> new York Governor Kathy Hochul announced yesterday she will expand Shark Patrol crews amid a uh, increase of attacks on Long Island. Meanwhile, Republican governors are encouraging residents to buy sharks for protection. The only thing that stops a shark is a good guy with a shark. <laughs> and finally, according to a new survey, 11% of Americans said that their favorite ice cream flavor is vanilla. Well, if you love vanilla, I got good news for you. There it is. The White House is reportedly considering major changes for its communications team. For example, they're going to get one. 
The National Archives yesterday asked the Secret Service to provide information about the deletion of agents' text messages pertaining to the Capitol attack. Who's laughing now, said the one agent with an android who wasn't allowed in the group chat. <laughs> Britain's Prince William and Duchess Kate Middleton announced today that they will travel to Boston later this year. This news was first reported by Paul Revere. <laughs> Former New York Mayor Bill de Blasio announced yesterday he's ending his congressional campaign, and I'm guessing this is not how Bill de Blasio wanted everyone to learn he had a congressional campaign. <laughs> Today was National Pennsylvania Day. Where the hell is that, asked Dr. Oz. <laughs> According to a new list, Vermont is the best state to live in. Well, no wonder, he always looks so happy. <laughs> Netflix reported yesterday that it lost nearly one million subscribers in the last three months. Well, Netflix, I think you finally have your answer. <laughs> Two governing bodies of Quidditch have announced that they will change the name of the sport to quad ball in an effort to distance themselves from J.K. Rowling. Said bullies, fine, let's go beat up the quad ball players then. <laughs> when asked about his song American Pie in a new documentary, singer Don McLean said the uh, jester mentioned in the lyrics is not James Dean. He also said, please, please don't sing that song at karaoke. And finally, after a man recently fell and injured himself at Lake Tahoe, his border collie ran 200 yards through the remote area of the forest to lead rescue crews to his owner, while his French bulldog ran six feet and immediately died. <laughs> President Biden tested positive today for the coronavirus. Luckily, we've all been keeping our distance. That's right, President Biden tested positive today for the coronavirus, so for the next two weeks, the country will be hosted by Chelsea Handler. <laughs> She'll do great, she's a pro. <laughs> According to a poll released yesterday, President Biden's approval rating has hit a record low 31%, putting him below the critical yellow starburst benchmark. <laughs> The House committee investigating the Capitol attack held a primetime hearing tonight and offered a timeline of what former President Trump did at the White House during the insurrection. We tape early, but I'm guessing watched TV? <laughs> That's like finding out what Joey Chestnut did on 4th of July. Same thing that he always does. <laughs> former Vice President Mike Pence spoke yesterday at a South Carolina church and said that the best part of no longer being in office is that he gets to drive his own car, and he made it very clear that he drives an automatic because it's a sin to drive stick. <laughs> His words, not ours, I mean. Authorities in Spain this week arrested two thieves who allegedly stole 45 bottles of wine from a hotel that were worth nearly $2 million, even worse, they stole the Toblerone from the minibar valued at three million. <laughs> and finally, the Mega Millions lottery jackpot hit $630 million this week after there were no winners. Whoever wins it this week can take the jackpot in installments, a lump sum, or premium unleaded. <laughs> 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 That was a monologue.